Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Maybe you have just gotten an iPad or a tablet, or maybe you have one that is just kind of rotting away in your closet and you want to find new ways to use it. And so you've clicked on this video to discover what digital planning is. And today I'm going to share everything you need to know about digital planning and showing you how to get started yourself. So I hope you enjoy it and let's get into it. Digital planning, or at least the way that I think about it and the way that I'm going to be talking about it today, is essentially just a PDF that you upload to a note-taking app on your device. So you take a PDF and a lot of times they have interactive hyperlinks that can take you to different parts of the planner and you just upload this PDF file to an app that allows you to write over it. Something I see a lot of people get confused about is if this is something that is coded into the app or if it's something that can be interactive with your Google Calendar and different other apps, but it is simply just a PDF that you upload to an app like GoodNotes or Notability and you use those apps and their features to add to your own planner. So it's not its own coded app or anything like that. It's simply a PDF and whatever features you have within your app are the features you get to use on your planner. Now, I was an avid paper planner person. I loved my physical planner, but I switched when I got my iPad for graphic design and I found out about digital planning and I thought it was absolutely genius because I loved having my plans in digital format but all of the digital planning systems I had seen up to this point involved you just typing it out, whereas I really enjoyed the process of writing it out. So with my iPad and the Apple Pencil, I was able to feel like I was writing it out just as I would in my physical planner, but I got all of the benefits of digital, like the endless customization, tons of colors, all different highlighters, different pens, um, moving things around, erasing very easily, undo, delete, all of these amazing things that technology and these apps allow us to do. And one of the top reasons I switched as well was the ability to sync across multiple different devices from your phone to your MacBook and tablet all at the same time. So I use GoodNotes, which I will get into in a little bit later, but I love it because I can write out my grocery list or my plan and goals and vision board and have it all in my iPad. But then if I'm you know, out and about and I don't have my iPad on me, it's all right there on my phone on my GoodNotes app. So I love that it syncs across multiple different Different devices as long as you use the same iCloud password and it's just great less paper less notebooks less clutter and I just love that about having it all be digital it's definitely a bit of a adjustment but once you make it you won't want to go back all right, today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different classes, and I was so excited when they reached out because I have been using Skillshare for years. I first got Skillshare when I got my iPad because they have tons of amazing classes centered around the iPad. They have classes for Procreate, for digital art and animation, lettering, Seriously, so many different classes. I've taken dozens of Skillshare classes at this point for Procreate and the iPad. Most recently though, I have taken Marquez Brownlee, MKA BHD on YouTube, his YouTube success script, shoot and edit course on Skillshare, which is how I filmed my recent iPad review video. His class and his whole workflow it just makes making YouTube videos so much easier. So I highly recommend taking that if you are somebody who is getting started with YouTube or any type of content in 2023. And if you're anything like me and you have tons of creative hobbies and you just wanna learn different things from professionals and people who have completely thought out and put together amazing courses, this is definitely the perfect platform for you. I'm going to have a link below to join Skillshare and the first 1,000 people who sign up with the link will get one month free trial of Skillshare. This is a great gift to give yourself going into 2023 in the new year. You can choose from thousands of different classes and learn a new skill. No matter what you're doing this year, they probably have something for you. But like I said, they have tons of amazing 
procreate iPad centered classes. So if you want to learn how to better use this device, definitely go check out Skillshare, join their platform and start learning and have fun. So once you've decided that digital planning is for you and you are ready to get started, you are going to need a device. Now this might be something that you already have, so you can just check that off the list, but if you are looking to get a new device, I definitely highly recommend the iPad and the Apple Pencil. I haven't tried any other devices as far as tablets go aside from the Remarkable 2, which I will have a review coming on very soon, so definitely look out for that. I also recommend the iPad because of course when you buy an iPad you're not just getting a digital planning device, you're getting a whole computer basically. As far as which iPad to get, I have plenty of reviews on my channel as well if you want to go figure out which one, but if you're just looking for a quick answer, I always recommend the iPad Air with the Apple Pencil 2. It is my go-to iPad that I think is great for people who are beginners just getting started. The Apple Pencil 2 is my preferred Apple Pencil to the Apple Pencil Gen 1. I personally use the iPad Pro 12.9 inch and I love the larger size. I love having the bigger surface area, but there is a price jump whenever you go to the iPad Pro and the 12.9 inch, you're getting into very expensive territory. I mean, iPads are expensive in general, but I think the iPad Air is perfect. If you were literally just going to digital plan, I would say go with the cheapest iPad you can find because most any iPad now will run an app like GoodNotes or Notability and allow you to digitally plan. All right, so you've decided you want to digitally plan, you have your iPad, now it is time to download your note-taking app. So there are tons of different note-taking apps you can find in the App Store, and I definitely recommend downloading them and trying them for yourself because this is really gonna come down to a personal preference and what you like and enjoy about different apps. But I will tell you that the two main digital planning apps out there that I feel like are at the top of the top are Notability and GoodNotes. And I choose GoodNotes, I prefer GoodNotes. It actually won app of the year this year, so you know, congrats to GoodNotes. And you'll see here on the screen the major differences between Notability and GoodNotes. I mean, overall, these are very similar apps and the different discrepancies between the features don't really affect me too much because I don't really use any of those features that much anyways. And I just prefer GoodNotes user interface and the overall experience of using the app over Notability. So that's why I choose to go with GoodNotes and it feels easier to use in my opinion. As far as pricing goes, both of these are free, so I definitely recommend downloading both and trying them out to figure out which one you like better. But GoodNotes is free up to three notebooks, and then you pay a one-time fee of $8, whereas Notability offers a free version and they also have a premium subscription for $15 a year. Overall, both are great apps and they're both very affordable. I think it just comes down to a personal preference. All right, so you have your iPad and your Apple Pencil and your note-taking app and you're ready to get started planning. But now you have to pick a planner and there's so many out there. And a very common question I get is, what is the planner I recommend for beginners? For this, I would say if you're somebody who is an avid planner, you like to plan ahead, you like to have your routines and habits all in one place, and you want to plan ahead to future dates and future months, and you want it all there, I would definitely say go with a dated yearly planner. This is perfect for people who are just looking for that traditional planner. Obviously, it's gonna be digital, but something that you would find in a paper planner that's just very all there at once and you can just flip through the different tabs and have access to your whole year. Then I would say if you're somebody where that feels a little bit overwhelming and you just want to plan your week and have a nice weekly schedule, I would definitely go for the weekly dashboard. This is gonna have everything you need to plan your week in advance and your day in advance, but it isn't gonna have a bunch of dates or the months in advance or anything like that. This is for people who like to take it week by week. Maybe you're not somebody who plans every single day, but likes to have a general plan of the week then this is perfect for you. 
But of course, I would say shop for a digital planner just like you would shop for a physical planner. Just look at the template, look at the style, and see what speaks to you and what is going to work with your lifestyle. The planners themselves, technically speaking, aren't going to be that different. It's still going to be a PDF file with hyperlink tabs. So from a technology standpoint, it's not like there is a more complicated planner or a more technologically advanced planner. They're all going to kind of operate the same way. Way, and it really comes down to your personal preference for planning your actual day and how you see yourself structuring your days, weeks, and months. All right, you have your iPad and Apple Pencil, you have your chosen note-taking app, you picked your planner and you followed the download instructions to get it on your app and you are ready to get started. And then you get overwhelmed by your app and all of these new things and you don't know where to start. And I always tell people to just start small, just click on the pen tool and just use a black pen and write out your to-do list. Keep it really simple at first. I know it can be overwhelming. We see all of these different tutorials and videos online of all of these, you know, pretty spreads and crazy things, but honestly, it's important to just kind of start small, have fun with it. Don't take it too seriously. It's just a planner. Um, and yeah, just watch tutorials, binge watch tutorials. I have so many across all of my different platforms. So you can go binge those and see a bunch of tips on how to make your planner pretty and different ways to add stickers and use good notes and so many tools and it's very fun. So definitely go binge watch tutorials. Another question I get asked a lot is how do I plan consistently? Once you go through all of this to get your planner on your device and you have it, you're ready, and then you plan one day and then it inevitably just sits on your iPad and you never look at it again. So how do you continuously plan and stay organized? And honestly, I don't really know how to answer this question because it's just something that I need to do for my brain to feel calm. I have to organize my life in some form so that I feel some sort of sense of control in this crazy world. My number one tip for planning consistently is to make it a ritual that you look forward to. I like to either get a mocktail and plan at the end of the day and relax or get my coffee in the morning and sit down and plan my day. Make it a ritual that you come back to, that you look forward to. Make your planner pretty, something that you enjoy looking at and coming back to. These are just little things that I've done that help me to stay consistent consistent when I make it a positive part of my life and part of my day. I also recommend having your chosen app right there on your home screen, easy to access, and also making a shortcut right to your planner on your home screen is really helpful as well, just so that it's right there. You can see it every day. It's top of mind. And that is something that really helps me and reminds me to pull out my planner and check in with my to-do list. And that is the beginner's guide to digital planning, all of the basics you need to know to get started. Of course, I have so many tutorials across all of my platforms. So if you have a question, I probably answer it somewhere on the internet. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.